The combination number is used um, in analyzing gambling games. So I'd like to do a couple of examples involving uh, a couple of these games. First of all, we have a lottery set up as follows. A player chooses six numbers from the first 44 counting numbers. Six markers are drawn randomly from a drum. And if the player's choices match the markers, then the player wins. Okay, now let's suppose we have a syndicate uh, that wants to beat this lottery. And in fact, this sort of thing has happened in the past. They want to know how many tickets do they need to buy in order to ensure a win. Okay, so that means that we need to know the number of possibilities for picking six numbers from 44. And that's exactly the combination number, C446. Order is not important here. It's just the six numbers that you have. So when I do that on my calculator, I come out with 7,059,052. That's a lot of tickets to buy. Okay, let's go back to card games now. In poker, uh, five cards are drawn from a standard deck. How many different hands are possible? Okay, so let's recall that standard deck has 52 cards in it and of course the order of these cards doesn't matter so we're going to use C you're probably going to re rearrange the cards in your hand anyway 52 to choose from and we're going to choose five of them So 52, choose 5, the answer is 2,598,960. Okay, a different uh, card game. Uh, bridge has 13 cards to comprise a hand. And we want to know how many different bridge hands are possible. Well, it's exactly the same kind of problem. Only now, instead of choosing 5 cards, we're going to choose 13. And the answer is a very large number. Six hundred thirty-five billion, approximately. 